A small boy lived on a small island just off the coast of Tamil Nadu. The youngest of five siblings, Abdul, was always enthusiastic to learn new things. But his family struggled with poverty. That although did not deter him. From a very young age, he started selling newspapers to support his family. And after doing that in the morning, he would then diligently head to school. When he was 10, his teacher took the class to the beach to explain how birds fly. The lesson was so fascinating that he started dreaming of becoming a pilot. And this dream never faded. He studied aerospace engineering and finally, he appeared for the Indian Air Force exam. But just when he was knocking at the door of his childhood dream, he missed it by just one rank. Hello and welcome to Ascension Stories brought to you by IDFC First Bank. Always you first. I'm your host Kunal Vijaykar and today we look at the story of the Missile Man of India, APJ Abdul Kalam. Young Abdul's father, Jainul Abdin, earned a living by ferrying pilgrims from Rameshwaram to Dhanushkodi. But one night, a terrible cyclone hit the shore. Jainul Abdin made sure that his children went to sleep. He looked calm. The next morning, Kalam could see that his father was worried. He realized something was wrong. He ran to the shore and he was shocked. Trees and houses were uprooted, roads had disappeared, and most importantly, their only means of livelihood, their boat, was lost. In hindsight, Kalam realized that his father was well aware of this ramification. Yet he had focused on calming everyone down and not expressed his distress. That day, Kalam learned an important lesson from his father how to weather a storm. Later in life, when Kalam struggled to shape the satellite launch vehicles or when his missile projects would go haywire, he would just recall his father's peaceful face during that stormy night. And that's how Kalam drew strength from failure and moved ahead towards success. After studying aeronautical engineering from the Madras Institute of Technology in 1960, APJ Abdul Kalam appeared for the Indian Air Force exam. He even made it to the interview stage. When the interview results came out, his name stood ninth out of a batch of 25. But only eight candidates had to be chosen. His dream of flying had crashed. But he pulled himself up after a soul-searching trip to Rishikesh. And when he returned to Delhi, an appointment letter from the illustrious Defence Research and Development Organisation awaited him. Thanks to his hard work, he was soon transferred to ISRO, where Kalam became the project manager for India's first satellite launch vehicle. His strong vision led to the Agni and Prithvi missiles. And in 1998, he served as the chief project coordinator for India's first successful nuclear tests, Okhran 2. Owing to his exceptional contributions to the nation, Kalam was elected to become the President of India in 2002. By now, Kalam was content in his life. His achievements had made him forget his dream of flying. Well, almost. <laughs> this is when he got the most surprising gift of his life. A dream that he had first seen as a 10-year-old was coming true at the age of 74. It was in June 2006, Lohegaon Air Base, Pune. Kalam strapped on the seatbelt in the cockpit of a Sukhoi, a warplane that flies at supersonic speed. As the Supreme Commander of the Indian Armed Forces, the President has to engage with the forces in many ways. And so, as a part of a program called the President's Sortie, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam became the very first Indian President to fly a fighter jet. When asked about his experience, Kalam spoke with the excitement of a little child. I went up and I went down and I took left and right turns. He fondly remembered the blue sky around him. APJ Abdul Kalam had a lasting impact on India's development, both as a scientist and as the 11th president of India. 
APJ Abdul Kalam's contributions truly solidified a nation's place in science and technology globally. The Missile Man of India was awarded the Padma Bhushan, the Padma Vibhushan, and the Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian honors of India. You've been listening to a century of stories brought to you by IDFC First Bank. Always you first. I'm Kunal, and next week we'll take a look back at the torchbearers who have made India's Olympic journey glorious. And now, IDFC First Bank brings you safe banking tips. Protect yourself and your devices from malware that can lock you out of your data until you pay a ransom for it. If you get any emails with attachments, offers and web links that look dubious, do not click. Keep yourself and your data safe.